Jordan, just how badly did defense to sort of need a confidence lift, play like you did today? Um, I think it was much needed for us. You know, uh, obviously, you know, we all know what happened last week. And um, this is a really great defense. And, you know, I felt like what we did today was much needed, much needed for our team, much needed for our defense. So I feel that um, I, feel it was pretty, I feel it was good. What were the conversations like throughout the week after uh, the loss on Saturday, just trying to regroup it and dial it back in as a defense? Uh, basically, you know, coach is just saying, we just got to play better. Got to play hard. We got to, you know, got to execute. And um, so this week at practice, all we did was focus on our details and uh, went back to our day one stuff, you know, effort, communication, physicality, uh, those things that our defense lives by. So basically got back to the basics and um, worked on the small things. And uh, we just played, played, played good today. Last week it seemed like a lot of the defense was, you know, chasing things that weren't there necessarily a little bit, got out of position. How do you correct that? Because obviously you still want to stay aggressive, you know, and, and try to dictate things to the offense. Um, you know, basically what we just – basically what we did was a lot of – just fixing a lot of alignment assignments, uh, eyes, you know, stuff like that that we worked on in practice this week. Uh, I feel like we got better at it, executed better, you know. Coach talked about how obviously a lot of your defensive guys were on the special team unit and you guys eventually got a shutout as a defense, but what was the vibe like after the return and getting out there and was it extra pick me up or any different vibe than before the game that they eventually scored? Uh, I wouldn't say it was much of a different vibe. It was just kind of like, okay, like they scored, now it's time, time to lock in even more, you know, to make sure that was the only one that they got. Um, obviously, you know, we weren't out there, but I just felt like when they, uh, the kick, the kick return, just like now we have next play mentality. Coach always talks about short-term memory. So basically all we could do is ex go out and execute our job. So I felt like we did that. You're starting, but how important was it for some of the younger guys to play just to get them a taste of game action? Uh, I feel it was very important. You know, uh, that's a very big step because, you know, I mean, I was there. You know, those few snaps and getting into a college atmosphere and on a college field against college opponents, that's a very big deal for development and stuff like that. So I feel like that was very vital for the younger guys today. So I feel like that's it's not going to do nothing but benefit benefit them in the long run. I got a two-parter for you. What's your favorite pass rush move, and who's an NFL guy that you watch and try to make? Um, my favorite pass rush move. I'm more of a speed to power guy, but you know I, I can switch it up. You know I'm kind of versatile, so I like to switch it up every now and then. But my favorite NFL guy probably mimic after Jeffrey Simmons for the Titans. You know, very explosive dude. Uh, went a lot of his one on ones. He's a strong guy. So. Short turnaround. Is that difficult? Um, yes, sir, it's difficult, but at the same time, you know, coach always talks about doing hard better. So we're going to enjoy this win tonight, lock in, and uh, we'll focus on VTech when we come in here tomorrow and um, watch film, get ready for that, get ready for the short turnaround for Thursday. Are you aware of the significance of the rivalry yet, uh, West Virginia versus Virginia Tech, and it goes back a while? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty familiar with it. I'm, I've been briefed, you know, and obviously we beat them last year. So they're a very good team. So it's just, like I said, enjoy this win tonight and uh, come back in here tomorrow, locked in, ready to get the week started. You talk about uh, the you know, Sean Martin getting a step up, how he's progressed for you guys, maybe on the front side there. Um, yeah, I, th I feel uh, Sean really stepped up big time. He's really hitting his strides, and I feel like he's finally, he's finally playing confident to where, like, he knows it's almost impossible to block him. You know, he's a he's strong guy too, and I feel like he's really just, like I said, he's hitting, he hit, he's hitting strides, and it's very exciting to see, you know, a guy that you've seen come in from uh, last year to this year is – and just watch his change and everything he's did, like his body, how he's eating, nutrition, and even he's, now it's just we're laying on the field. So it's special.